Today we're going to review the Avery Dennison Traffic Jet Print System. We are going to look at some of the parts of the printer. We'll review the software and then we'll also print some unique signs on the printer. So let's look at the softwares that come with the Avery Dennison Traffic Jet Print System. You have two softwares, the FlexiPrint DX RIP and the FlexiPrint Editor. Let's look at the editor first. The FlexiPrint editor allows you to design and print files. So as you can see here, there are some street blades where the background is a traffic color, green or blue, and then you also have some uh, emblems or logos of the cities. These will be printed with the CMYK process colors. You also have a sign which is multicolored and this again is extremely time consuming when you try to make this sign with screenings for example. The details of the letters and the small size also make, mean that they are, it is extremely difficult to make with an overlay film. Some of the other signs that you see in here are uh, a logo of the city of Tampa. Again this image has a lot of details and a lot of smaller font and the traffic jet with its high resolution printing allows you to print this very easily. The logo for the state of Hawaii and the state of Florida that you see on the screen here, they're again extremely detailed and have a lot of different colors on it. It will be impossible to make these with anything other than a digital print system. The traffic jet will allow you to print these complicated logos directly onto an Avery Dennison reflective film. Let's look at the stop sign. The traffic jet allows you to put some fine details on the stop sign. As you can see, any sign, you can put a security mark on the bottom of that sign or in one corner of the sign. For example, like a property of the city of Phoenix over here. And this will deter the theft of signage. The traffic jet will also allow you to print multicolor signs like these mile markers which have three colors and they also have a variable message. Again, with the traffic jet, it's extremely easy to design these files on the computer and send all of them to the printer in one go. The FlexiPrint RIP software is a software which sends the files to the printer. If you have another sign which is designed in an Illustrator, CorelDRAW, SignCAD, or any such sign making software, you can load it into this RIP software and send it to the printer. It's as easy as saying add job and it adds it to the queue here. I can open that file. I go up here and select the right preset. I'm printing on Avery Dyson's T6500 high intensity prismatic. Once I have my preset selected, I can press this button and it will communicate with the printer and it will automatically download the size of the roll. This is the job size and it's easy to just adjust it to the size of the sign that you want to print. I can print multiple copies by adjusting this number over here. So I can press this button to justify them to the center or the right or left. Once you have all the settings selected on the first tab over here, you don't have to go in into any additional tabs. By selecting the right preset from the top, you have already selected the right printer settings. It's as easy as that. If you want to send it to the printer now, press the send button. The sign will now rip, which means that the data is being transferred to the printer. When the sign is ripped, it will now give you a progress of the printer over here. Another great feature, allows you to nest the signs that you want to print. So I select the signs that I want to print and press the nest button over here. And what the nesting software will do is it will adjust the copies so that I get, I maximize the use of my sheeting. Again, when you're ready to print, just send it to the printer using the send button over here. This is a really great feature which utilizes the omnidirectionality of our sheeting. The printer has a control panel on the right over here. And there are three heaters. 
the preheater on the back, the platen which is under the printhead, and then the dryer which is on the front over here. The dryer is responsible to dry all this ink so that the signs are dry by the time they go to the rewind. When you buy the printer, the printer comes with the automated rewind. The rewind has a sensor bar and this is where all the media is collected. The sensor bar acts to hold the prints down so that they are flush with the dryer. The inks are loaded in these cartridges. Each bay holds about four colors. You have the process colors loaded here. You have the magenta, cyan, black and yellow. And then you have four traffic colors. Traffic black, traffic green, traffic red, and traffic blue. The inks are available in two sizes. You have the 440 ml, which is about half a liter of the ink. And with this, depending on the type of signs that you're printing from full coverage like street signs or low coverage like speed limit signs, you should be able to get about 600 square feet, which is about a roll of our sheeting. You also have another bigger option, which is the 950 ml. This is about a liter of ink, which comes in a bag and has to be loaded using this adapter. This adapter goes directly into the bay of the printer over here. With this one liter bag, you should be able to print about 12 to 1300 square feet. Again, depending on the type of signs that you're printing. And that's worth about two rolls of sheeting. Let's talk a little bit about the traffic jet spot colors. We have designed this specifically to meet all the global specifications when printed on Avery Dennison traffic sheeting. We have taken our tried and tested screen print pigments and modified them to work with this digital print system. With these traffic jet spot colors, you can be sure that they're going to reliably pass all the color and reflectivity specifications for your region. For more information about the Avery Dennison traffic jet print system, please visit reflectives.averydennison.com slash traffic jet.